In less than 6 minutes, you will learn 7 useful tips that will make your experience in Genshin Impact much better. While obtaining your first 4 star weapon is very exciting and will prove to be invaluable in the future, you are missing out on a lot of 3 star weapons that have lots of potential once they reach max refinement. You will notice that you can refine weapons by sacrificing an identical copy and increasing the special power of the weapon, which can be done up to 4 times. You can see for yourself just how powerful max refined 3 star weapon is against a twice refined 4 star weapon. And obtaining 2 copies of the same 4 star weapon is already challenging enough. Once you unlock Adventurer's Handbook, you will be able to go on hunts for various world bosses. Some of the common foes you will fight include Electro Sison Mages who drop precious resources that are needed to upgrade your weapons. You can only hunt down a limited number of times before these pesky mages disappear and only show up again after more than 18 hours. If that's not enough, various mushrooms, ores and flowers have different sets of cooldowns before they refresh. And we won't get into details, but it's safe to say that anytime you see a rare item such as crystal ore, philanemo mushrooms and many more, make sure you pick them up. These items will be needed for character ascension and weapon leveling. Leveling up artifacts requires sacrificing other artifacts, as well as Mora, so the more you progress through the game, the more artifacts you will acquire. One of the major aspects of artifacts is that they give huge stat boost and the difference between a 3 star and 4 star artifact in terms of stats is quite staggering. We only recommend for you to increase 3 star artifacts up to plus 4 because they can still give a nice enough boost when you're just starting out and won't eat up too many resources. Once you start acquiring more and more 4 star artifacts, start switching them out with 3 star artifacts. Original Resin in Genshin Impact is your energy system that many mobile gamers will be familiar with. Completing domains, fighting world bosses and opening leyline deposits requires Original Resin. It is highly recommended to never keep your Original Resin at max 120 cap because you're losing out on your valuable adventurer rank experience. When early in the game, the best and fastest way to spend all of your Original Resin would be by opening leyline deposits. There are two types of deposits. One one provides Mora and the other one provides experience books to train your character levels. It's better if you go for Mora since almost everything in the game requires money. What's nice about Leyline Deposits is that each fight takes only few minutes and grants 100 adventure rank experience points, so if you start the game by logging in and spending all 120 original resin, you will end up with 6 completed Leyline Deposits, 20 original resin each and 600 adventure rank experience points. And there's a very simple simple calculation in Genshin Impact where every 20 original resin gives you a 100 adventure rank experience points no matter what type of activity you do. So by doing the fastest leyline deposit for Mora will give you a lot of adventure rank experience quickly. Climbing mountains is going to be part of your daily life in Genshin Impact. You will notice that stamina can run out pretty quickly and falling to your death becomes inevitable. To prevent yourself from instant death, if you see that you're about to run out of stamina while climbing, disengage from climbing and immediately do a downward attack. You should now fall down without taking any damage and maybe take out some enemies along the way. You will notice that for the first few days, Genshin Impact isn't really that challenging. This couldn't be further from the truth, once you start unlocking higher world levels which increase every monster's strength including how much damage they inflict. Having access to food becomes especially crucial if you're lacking one of the few healers available in the game. Most importantly, eating food allows you to make mistakes and you can still beat challenges. There will be plenty of domains and trials where monsters just hit for too much damage and food will be the only way for you to survive, unless you're very good at dodging attacks. If you're watching this video and Genshin Impact is your first gacha game, then you need to understand why exactly do these games earn the gacha title. You are partially correct if you think that gacha means the wish system that the game uses for summoning new characters, but the more important emphasis is put on the progression system. Every gacha game always starts out easy, gives you lots of rewards for free and then slowly but surely your progression starts to stagger and resources become harder to obtain. When you get into Genshin Impact, you need to decide who will be your main damage dealer and then put the resources in raising that character. You will not be able to raise
raise everyone together without spending actual money, so your other characters will be behind, which is absolutely normal if you're a free-to-play player. However, if you're purely here to play the game for the story and explore the open world, without bothering with the endgame content, which is currently only the Spiral Abyss, you don't need to worry and just follow these other mega tips to have a fun and easy experience with the game. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also, check out our other videos of Genshin Impact, which includes a tier list that you can read and also visit on our website, gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.